Hey, welcome to TMX Brick Notes. I am Martin, and today I've got an awesome thing. It is a haul, but it's stuff I'm actually gonna keep, so you guys should be pretty excited for me. I am gonna build the stuff that I'm gonna show you today. And oh yeah, don't mind this right here. That is the thing that it just fell down and I didn't feel like putting it back up. All right, let's check out what I got. Okay, let's take a look at what I got. Oh my goodness, it's right there. Holy cow! Yes! You can tell I'm excited, right? So, I got the cargo plane. This is something I had been looking at for a long time. And Target had it for $88 US. So, pretty excited about that. 60022. And, you know, I am planning to build a Lego city. Um, I'm gonna slowly work my way into that because I have plans to make it really huge. So it's gotta have a huge plane. And I don't have a huge passenger plane yet, but this will get all the materials into the city to start building. Now I do have some old school planes back at my parents' house, but those don't even compare to these new ones. You know, they were brick built and they were four wide. You, you guys probably know what I'm talking about, especially eight balls. But this is pretty sweet. Love, love this action going on right here. The conveyor that loads the cargo. I love the green, honestly, I love the white and green color. So that really attracted me to this. And of course, you get a pallet of gold. That's awesome too. Now, the other thing that I got, this is great. This is pick-a-brick. Now, the thing that's different about getting pick-a-brick is I got this just for me. I've done quite a few pick a brick for Mr. Bear's Bricks, but I gotta tell you, it was a totally different story doing it this way. Now, what's cool about this, what's also funny is that I've always needed the tape, and there is no tape on this. For whatever reason, I just got to this point and I snapped it on. So many times I can't tell you where I've had the lid just barely touching the top, and I had to hold it while they taped it so it wouldn't fall apart. And that's really scary. But I didn't even think about it when I purchased. I didn't even think about the tape. And it made it home A-OK. -okay. So we're gonna crack this open and show you because you can see there's quite a variety. Let's take a closer look. All right, here we go. Pick a brick cup. Again, no tape, we just popped it open. Now this is my favorite way to do the lid. We do uh, bricks, three, five, five, three and you do too deep. So I love doing that. So it turns out great. And then add a few dots on there or, you know, those studs. Okay, a whole bunch of one by two white bricks. A whole bunch of dark red bricks, one by two on the wall. I love it. Go. some red and green I just love getting a mix of colors got some 1 by 8 red tile got a whole bunch of dots they're gonna go everywhere I keep calling these dots they are the one by one round plate Tiffany started calling them dots and I just went with it I think it's a great name for it okay so I got a few of these bamboo Got a few of these black one by twos. Got some of these tires and, and rims. Got a few of these uh, modified tiles, the grill. Got a few one by four red plates. Got a few of these. Uh, they're a modified brick. It's a one by, one by one with studs on four sides. Awesome. Got a few antennas. Such a mix of stuff. This is crazy. Got a few small tires. Where are those small rims? There they are, and a few small rims. So adding those in there, super. Got a few one by eight tiles of white. Continue, here we go, a few of these. Just a handful, probably five. Uh, modified plate one by two with a handle. Wow, look at all this stuff. Two by two yellow tile. Awesome stuff. Uh, let's see, one by one trans clear cheese. One by one trans clear plate. Uh, oh yeah, one by two black plate. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, here we go. Now I think this is a modified tile. It, it kind of looks like a flag. You could use it for a banner or something like that. Picked up about 10 of those. There's a few more bricks. I didn't really get to show you how I did the bottom, but that's okay. Uh, they had a handful of these, whatever that um, control panel is. We're back. Okay, sorry. I picked up about eight of these for the for the vehicles, and of course, about five steering wheels. So I didn't even keep track of how many different lots I have here in different colors, but I'm excited. And so I want to tell you kind of. The feeling that I had as I was doing this pick-a-brick lot compared to uh, when I'm shopping for Mr. Bear's bricks. Okay, so welcome back. You got to see what was in the pick-a-brick cup. A lot of great stuff. Now, the biggest difference for me shopping for myself compared to shopping for my Bricklink store uh, when, when I did that in the past. Man, I got to tell you, when I'm shopping for myself, I just was like, oh, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. Picked out all these different colors, all these different types of pieces thinking, how can I use this? How am I gonna be able to use that? When I used to shop for Mr. Bear's Bricks, I would typically fill the bucket up with one thing or maybe at a maximum five different lots. That was it. I was trying to maximize the best piece that they had on the wall. So it was just, it was just like a, it was a fun treasure hunt feeling. This is actually the first time I've ever done pick a brick for myself. I don't know why, but when I first saw the pick a brick wall, I thought, oh, that's not a great deal. I want to keep buying a set or a whatever else. So it was awesome. It was, a, it was a fun time, and you can see I got carried away in a whole bunch of different colors, but I am excited about it because now I can go back and pick out a bunch of new stuff. Now, really excited about the dark red 1x2 bricks. I, I'm thinking these will make a great foundation for a building. Um, white 1x2 bricks, very good too. The tile pieces I got, the, the red ones could be used for a barn or something, the white ones can be used for a whole bunch of different stuff. And then, you know, I like these, uh, these little trans light blue studs, they could be used for water uh, of some sort, but anyways, that's all for that now. Yeah, I, I think that's all for that. I'll let you guys go. Thank you very much for watching today. Thank you for subscribing, and I hope you guys get a chance to get out and buy some Lego for yourself. In the meantime, hope you have a great weekend and I'll see ya. A trade with Lego 360 official. So uh, where's that envelope? Oh, bonsai, a little help please, thank you. And in this video, I've got a whole bunch of Lego news for you. And in fact, we're coming live in Dragon City on TMX TV tonight. No, not really.